Shout out to Hitmarker Gaming. We haven't even gone live yet, and you've already subbed. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Valorant's Week 5. Tonight, we are going to have your UMW Esports Eagles versus Mont State Clare in the head-to-head -head of the conference, both teams undefeated, as we look to go that only one team can be victorious. Will it be your UMW Eagles at the end of this grueling potential best of three, or will it be Monte Claire? Make sure to stay right here for all of the action as we have it. We are still waiting on lobby setup and stuff at this time. So until then, we will be right back. In the meantime, take a look around our Twitch. We have a bunch of brand new stuff, including the ability to subscribe. Thank you, Hitmarker Gaming and Hannah Han both for the tier one subs. We appreciate those greatly to help support the esports program here at the university. We also have the ability to earn Eagle channel points now in which you can redeem awesome highlights such as get dirty, go wash, and other fun things. More to come for sure. And definitely if you have any recommendations to put them in chat. But as of now, I'm Mark Link. We will see y'all in just a minute.
We are getting ready just about to start here. The other team has showed up in the lobby. And we're getting ready for this best of three. Once again, my name is Mark Link, and I'm the director of esports. And we'll be commentating tonight's week five NECC regular season match between UMW Esports and MSU. Both teams stand undefeated in their current season, which means only will one walk out alive. In terms of the matches played tonight, we are going to be starting on Icebox Attack for your UMW Eagles, followed shortly thereafter by Defend Ascent. And if we get there, we will be ending on Fracture for Game 3. Thank you to everybody communicating in the chats. We love to see the Get Dirty Go Wash. We love to see the Let's Go UMWs. Everybody, happy to have you guys here. Happy to have everybody in the stream. Excited to have an amazing set tonight. Definitely can change the course of school history tonight with this win. I'd also like to remind everybody potentially watching Rocket League tryouts will be next Wednesday, October 26th, as our newly announced competitive team here at the university. We wish everybody good luck during their tryouts, and we hope to have at least two teams worth of full members, and we'll definitely be bringing those streams live as they happen. Just doing team checks one more time just to make sure that both players are ready in terms of the prospective team captains. Tonight's UMW lineup. We'll be going over just briefly here. Hoping everybody has had a great start to their week and welcome back from fall break. Wishing everybody a happy October as we slowly close in here on Halloween. We'll definitely be doing a fun event as we have one of our matches on October 31st. Which be ought to, ought to be fun. All right, but just like that, we are going to have both teams signaled already, and we are going to transfer over now to Agent Select. Let's do it. All right, and here we go. We are going to have UMW Esports on the attack side icebox first. We're going to have Brandon on the Sage, Mason on the KO, Jack on the Chamber, Colby on the Viper, and waiting to see what Xander decides to play here on attack. On the enemy team, we are going to see a Killjoy out of MSU Miles. An interesting pick here and definitely will be more of an A-sided defense playing for the potential post plants. We'll have to see how Miles chooses to play that. Potentially also a raise coming out of Viro Heat. Could be looking to take quick offensive plays towards the A-site, but we'll have Choose to see how Montclair State chooses to play it. In the background, you might hear the boys getting super excited over there in the other room. We are excited for them. And 
and it does look like it is going to be the Rays locked in a very different matchup than UMW is potentially used to seeing here on Icebox. Clear skies here today on the icy ice box in which the UMW boys are very familiar in terms of finding themselves. And we will have to see how it all pans out. Does look like it's going to be three ghost buys on the side of the defense, two on the side of the offense as we are going to be live with what looks like a B-side long hit here going into the first half. are going to have the offensive take quickly. Angles are being checked, and it does look like the yellow smoke is going to be planted. Wall is going to go down on the side of Brandon, and Bomb will be going down. Raise grenade for the denial is going to do a little bit of poke damage, but not much as we look to have a full reset here on the sides of both teams. Is going to be Mason that is able to find the first. And it is going to be the offensive clear. It is going to be Viro that gets one. Bomb is going to be to half as the damage is going to come through. However, Bomb is going to be found, although quickly picked up Mason with the 3K. However, held to half, it is going to be the Diffuse MSU winning the first round here on Game 1. Is going to be a Vandal bot on the side of Vero Heat. We will have to see how he elects to use it. it is going to be Monarch that is going to win the 1v1 versus Jack in terms of the Chamber Duel. We'll have to see how the boys choose to slow aggress potentially towards A site here. Is going to be Mason finding one, however, is going to be two falling onto the site. That is going to be the SMG picked up to be secured by the chamber. It's going to be the close range duel, and it is going to be Colby with the trade. Oh, does find the dink onto one, but unfortunately unable to find the damage. And that is going to be 2 0 going into the bonus. Scout Black says, let's get it. WMU, it is UMW, but that is A-OK, -okay, as Alec understands that, you know, we're, we're excited to have some new faces around chat. And regardless of whether you're supporting us via our name or not, we're happy to have everybody here today. We are going to have Jack potentially on the lurk, as it does look like Mason moves to take bell control. Is going to be found by Viro Heat. It's going to be the boys slow walking off towards sight, getting that control towards mid, as Jack does push aggressively. It 
Is it going to be Jack that uses to kill Yellow? Unfortunately, Nate is going to go far on the side of enemy KO. And we'll have to look to see how angles are taken as they come. Bomb plant is going to be denied by Brandon, but quick trade is going to come out from the side of Jack. One enemy remaining. It is going to be Colby with the double pickup quickly. Make that three. And that is going to be a good round on the side of the Colby Clutch Master looking to take us into round four. Obviously, UMW expected to win the bonus here, but it is going to be a full rifle buy throughout the round. Some slight eco in terms of having lower shield potential, but still overall a full rifle buy here on the side of both teams as we get into round four. And it is going to be Brandon that does find the pick quickly on to Tommy. And it does look like it could be the execute. TP off as well will be Jack. And they, it looks like the boys are going to commit for the B-side hit. A little bit of miscommunication there in terms of bomb plant. But it is going to be Brandon that is able to find Monarch over the top. Low Orb is once again going to be coming down. And it is going to be the headshot from Z through the smoke. Unable to find one. And it is going to be found second as well. But it is going to be the flank from Jack to mid to secure the round. And it is going to be the pickup as well, securing the economy on the KO as we are tied up 2-2 going into round 5. Does look like it is going to be an eco round here out of the side of MSU to try to stabilize from the lost round there. It's going to be full rifles out on the side of UMW, and it does look like it's going to be a potential slow take towards A to utilize rifle advantage. Is an aggressive push here. Is going to be a foot that is found. It does look like the boys are dancing around, not wanting to commit to the A site quite yet. Playing for information. Jack is going to begin the slow process of walking up mid. Economy is going to be stabilized. Is it going to be Jack that finds one? Jack that finds two. Got to be careful not to overheat here. But it is going to be site execute that potentially does look to come out. 30 seconds left. Jack that could find three and is unfortunately going to fall. Information is given on the Viper. They are going to know where Bomb is. And with the slow. Are going to be live with Z in the elevated position. Is going to be able to find one. Make that two. Make that the turret as well. A quick 3k. Really a two. But plus the turret out of Z. Securing the two, three. A great push onto the mid by Jack. A great lurk there. And to read the defense well. I am Bowser. Colby coming in clutch. Absolutely. For those of you potentially joining, a little bit on the later side, we are in game one, going into round six. But now, 
We are Twitch play, affiliate here at UMW. Looking to use your Prime subs or just earn Eagle points to cheer on your local UMW esports athletes. Face your fear. All is fun. As it does look like it is going to be the fast execute here onto a site. But potentially looking to play slow. Nade is going to be eliminated. Turret is going to go down. Bomb is going to be planted. As we are going to have two holding pipes toward top 410. It does look like the defender Killjoy is going to go out as well. And we are going to have to see a full close plant fall off on the side of UMW. And that is potentially the hold, and it is going to be the hold. An unfortunate ultimate timing there on the availability of the enemy, but a good use of the enemy Killjoy ult to secure the round. Economy of UMW still holding strong here going into round seven. Still able to have full buys across the board, whereas MSU is going to be a little bit split in terms of what they're able to buy. They are so dead. Is going to be the enemy operator in use by the chamber. Information on the yellow angle is going to be found by the Killjoy turret. We'll have to see if Jack can maybe see the foot of Tommy. It's going to be the Killjoy ulti used as well. And it is going to be Jack that is holding the A cross as well. He's going to be able to do some of the damage. It's going to be the blast pack through. As the boys look to re-potentially hit onto the A site. It's going to be a full dance round with one tucked on back snowman. But it does look like the defense is going to read it correctly. We are going to trade one for one in terms of Z. Finding one, but Jack finding the other. Are gonna see if the bomb goes down. Mason is gonna try to hold it, but bomb unfortunately not going down. That is gonna be planned as we go to a 2v3 towards both screens. Mason is gonna put himself in the elevated position. Monarch will find one. Last player standing. Monarch is gonna find two as well. Is going to be the tap. Fake information that is going to be gathered. But it is going to be Monarch taking the aggressive push that is able to find four. A great round from him and that operator doing a lot of damage towards the back screens. As it is going to be 4 3 going in to the eighth round. Small Iosis or Smolsis. Thank you very much for the follow. We appreciate your support here as we cheer on our UMW Eagles here in week five of the NECC regular season, fighting in contention to remain the top seeded team undefeated so far this season. Use 
is going to be a bomb that is going down. But it does look like it is going to be a full frontal aggression. No flankers. On the side of the UMW. Is going to find one on the yellow trade. We'll have to see if we can find two. Unfortunately not found. It's going to be the full spray by Brandon through the smoke to absolutely clean up the round. An insane play by Brandon there. Sort of sad we did not unfortunately get that live on the camera, but a great play nonetheless. An important play too. The round was quickly falling apart there in the 2v4 post plant. But a good equalization by Brandon. Good job. Now it is going to be the boys playing slow, recognizing the eco of the defense. Will they expect the tuck close? They will. It is going to be the angle cleared by Brandon. Okay, a knife is not going to find any either. With KO down, you will have to ask. And it is going to be also Monarch being found. Someone is going to have to deny the bomb close, but it is not going to happen. Are going to be traded out quickly, and bomb is going to go down for the second time. Is going to be the 4v2 in the post plant, but it is going to be Leah that takes the kill on to Xander. Jack, unfortunately, followed quickly, and just like that, it, the round quickly becomes a 2v2. It's going to be Mason with the 1, Mason with the 2, the quick payups, and a good job by Colby to be playing for the lineups as said, but a close round in terms of a 4v2 turning into a 2v2 quickly on the side of UMW. Over 21 people make that 22 current viewers within our streams. We want to thank everybody so much for all of your support coming in to support us during this very crucial, important game within our season. Excited to see how everybody continues to to develop throughout the uh, throughout the set. Does look like it is going to be the quick knife out on the side of Mason. It's going to be Jack that is walking up on the long angle. We are going to trade one for one in the mid. Make that two. They are going to hear the TP away, but we will have to see if Jack can win the initial engagement on the KO. You might not expect it. Might be playing instead more for back sight. Out of range. But he has to know that his barrel is potentially sticking out in this position. We'll have to see how he opts to take it. And it is going to be Jack that finds the crucial pick there. A good job of being tucked. Make that two. Almost three, could it be? Jack going to go ahead instead and play the time. Because it is the KO flash that is going to come out. But either way, we're going to go ahead and watch that one again on the replay cam. A great play by Jack. And that is going to be a defender-sided timeout that is going to be occurring during this instant replay. A great play by Jack there to play patiently and waiting for the plant. While we wait on this timeout, we are going to take a brief 40-second pause. But in the meantime, don't go anywhere. Maybe grab a snack, but come right back as we look to continue on and go into the second half of what has been an intense Game one, UMW leads by two rounds right after this.
and welcome back. Thank you, everybody. Brief intermission, potentially looking to be a momentum pause out of the side of MSU, as we are going to have UMW once again aggressively aggressing towards the B site. Also, special thanks to I Am Bowser. Thank you for the tier one sub. We appreciate your support. Supporting our brand new esports program here at the university. Is going to be Diamond picking up Tommy with the assist from death. Is going to be the wall that is also coming out. We'll have to see how the boys choose to play post plant. Does look like we're going to be too positioned towards yellow with the trip on flank. It is going to be the defender, KJ. And that is going to be the KJ denied. A crucial mishap potentially on the side of MSU. Nothing but pistols here as they look to aggress. Colby is going to find one. Jack going to find the other as well. Is going to be the eco that does the damage. Unfortunately not found. However, time ticking away slowly. It is going to be Viro attempting to do at least a little bit more economic damage. But we are going to have both UMW players surviving. And that is going to be a great 4-7 to seven going into the final round of the half. Always happy to see a fully dominant UMW on the board. All of the boys positive in the KD ratios doing their job and doing it well to execute here on attacking side icebox. It's going to be the pop flash out as Jack looks to take the aggressive angle. We are, are going to have the site execute as well and it is going to show that at least one is towards the screen's angle. It's going to be the one-for-one one trade in terms of Jack. Also, wall is going to go up. Bomb is going to be planted towards heaven side. And we will have to see if the boys elect to fall off here. Unfortunately, not able going to be able to get the res. We are going to be live with Z, a top 410, looking to make the difference. Is going to be Zeke selecting one up on top of 410. Could be a potential second, but is going to wait. And it does look like the information is going to be had. It's going to be an ultimate that goes wide. No information is going to be found with it. But unfortunately, is going to go down to a 1v2. But unfortunately, that is going to be a 4-8. A great re-execute on the side of MSU. Good job with the pre-fire, a good job with the ultimate, and a good job, unfortunately, clearing out our eagles. Switching sides. Buggy Wuggy, who won first game? This is game one. Going into the half. Apologies about that. Scurby Woo. Absolutely. Woo, we are excited to be leading going into the halftime. And we'll have to see how the pistol round goes and what it looks like on the side of both teams. We're going to have two ghosts purchased out with two ghosts also purchased out on the side of MSU. Does look like it positioned a little bit more towards the A side on this hit. And we'll have to see what happens. Shutting them down. It's going to be Colby potentially recognizing the mid-aggression. It's going to be the post plan out in terms of the information, but that is going to be Brandon and Colby finding two, meaning there will be no post plan in terms of the information. 
are going to have the wide swing, and that is going to be the two quick picked up, a full five man alive as we go into the second round. A great re-execute, a good elimination both on the side of Brandon and Colby. And a flawless round as we go to potentially 5-9. Here live on the bonus round, we are going to have to see if MSU decides to buy up. But it does look like it is going to be a potential full save. Oh, but actually, we are going to see a sheriff come out on the side of Viro. He has been hitting some headshots. And there is a chance to make a difference here. Ready. A gift. It's going to be a very, very slow offensive take on the side of MSU up B long. Playing extremely carefully. No information gathered here from the boys on any side. But it is going to be at least one sided. Boys potentially knowing better. Toxin screen down. Ooh, that is going to be the information that there is still potentially some mid. Boys and whores, and Teleport is going to come out, but unfortunately, Chamber unable to find any. MSU playing extremely cautious into this round. But it does look there. like it is going to be... Oh, it is going to be the damage done. Slow is going to go on towards to Maze. Top 410 is going to be one. Is going to be two. Make that three found by Brandon. A great play. And you know we're going to have to watch that one again as he absolutely held down sight with the Sage. A good initial pickup and the damage done by Z in the mid. But it's Brandon's world and we're just living in it, as the Spectre is going to do a great job of cleaning up sight and preventing the bomb plant. I have to wonder if MSU potentially played that just a little too slow on the execute. Patient, but maybe too much. Is potentially going to be the information gathered. We'll have to see how Jack chooses to elect. Is going to find one, and is going to TP away successfully as well. No rifle will fall. Is playing again onto close yellow. We'll have to see if Jack gets angsty on the close angle. Playing extremely patiently. It's going to be the flash for Jack as well. The great teamwork, unfortunately, is going to fall to Tommy. But the damage done, two SMGs taking out two rifles. Going into potential post plant. Unfortunately, is going to be Xander's shot that goes wide. 30 seconds left. What would could look to be. Spike planted. Poison's off. Last player standing. Is going to be the push, but unfortunately not found. A close call there. A great first two eliminations found on the side of Jack playing patiently, but unfortunately the rest of the team unable to get it done. A good job playing off of each other's flash and equipment. But as the walls began to fall, you have to wonder if we just maybe took it a little bit too slow.
does appear that we are going to have MSU positioning over towards the side of A, which means Brandon could be our first initial contact. Is going to dodge the knife, the roan, and that means wall will potentially go down. Is going to be wall down and wall down early at that. Mason potentially looking to damage and do a little bit of informational trade. We are going to be live with Colby on the flank as well. It's going to do some damage, but unfortunately, Brandon not found. And it is going to be the post plant as we look to take 4p5 on the retake. Viper ultimate is down. The boys do have equipment to work with. We'll have to see how they elect to do so. Okay, and I is going to find two on the close angles. And it is going to be finding one. Finding two is Colby. We are going to have to play effectively for time here. And that is going to be on the quiet drop as well. Unfortunately, not going to do it. And it is going to be MSU's round with a combination of the double ultimates. But overall, not badly played on the attempt of the 4v5 retake on the side of UMW. And that is going to be a UMW timeout briefly. As we quickly look to reevaluate the momentum shift of the round. Both teams absolutely battling it out here in the first half. And it appears like it is going to go a long way into the second as it is almost tied up. For those of you potentially just joining us at the half, we appreciate your support already in our first Twitch stream now as affiliates. Three subs. Absolutely fantastic. And all of that will be coming just back to support the UMW Eagles and the program. We really appreciate not only that support, but also you watching who are now earning your Eagle points, in which you can cheer on our Eagles with a Get Dirty Go Wash or a Let's Go Eagles or any cheer of your choice. That is going to be the defender side of timeout coming back. And it does look like it is going to be the full eco out on the side of UMW as they look to stabilize their economy from the round loss bonus. Trade was attempted, but unfortunately, Monarch is going to do the damage and teleport out for free. We are left in a 3v5, definitely just doing the damage in terms of the economy. Are going to recognize that at least one is yellow. But the flank is going to come from mid by Tommy. Potentially securing all three, and he will. A good play by him in terms of the flank. And a nice attempt on the eco push towards the mid by the boys, but unfortunately expected by the enemy chamber. We are going to equalize now to a full buy round on the side of both MSU and UMW. But we are going to have Jack armed with that operator, potentially looking to take mid control. Would be crucial if he found a pick here to help equalize the economy on the losing side here, as it has been a few rounds now in a row side of MSU. It does look like Jack is going to be playing elevated. Position that is an off angle that was held on the enemy side earlier. Jack, unfortunately, unable to hit the pick quickly here, but we are going to have one walked up maze. And it 
is going to be the slow that comes down as well. It's going to be Jack that does find one. Potentially Jack that finds two as well on the smoke clear, but unfortunately does not find it. It's going to be the absolutely dominant push towards Maze, and that's going to make it a 2v4 in the retake. Spike planted. Um, is going to be going down here. The damage has been done. Unfortunately, Colby unable to find it as Tommy cleans up again. UMW is accumulating quite a lot of ultimates here, which is going to help them be able to restabilize the rounds here towards the second back half. But for this one, it does look like it's going to be a buy, and specifically Stingers and Sheriffs as we look to hold back going into round 19. They are so dead. And it is going to be Jack with the ultimate. He is going to be looking towards mid. Smoke is going to have an unfortunate break in it. That is going to be some mid control that is unfortunately have to be given up. Jack doing a good job of watching the long B angle. They must assume that at least a few are mid. He is going to come through. Brandon does have to be careful about the distance of angles that he chooses to engage. And that is going to spot three. Just like that, the information will be had. It looks like we are going to understand that it is going to be yeah. around. We do have to see if Colby is able to find the chamber, but unfortunately not detected. There. Fire in the hole. 30 seconds left. And it is going to be this row that does take one, make that two, quickly traded by Z, who is going to fall. And that is going to be a 4v1 with Chamber Ultimate. Five bullets, four enemies. We will have to see how he chooses to do the damage. Thank you to everybody that is currently tuning in. 32 viewers live currently right now for your UMW Eagles. We appreciate the support immensely. And that is going to be the Chamber, unfortunately unable to reload. Jack with the cheeky kill, but quickly picked up by the Killjoy. It's going to be 10-9. As economies are going to restabilize here, and we're going to have a full buy round on both sides. Going into round 20, first to 13 wins it. This is an absolutely hype game. I couldn't have said it better myself, Broom Turtle. Slow A hit. It is going to be mid control that is gathered. Information is going to be good, but the boys have to understand at what cost. You should run. And they are going to recognize that the Killjoy ultimate is coming down. We'll have to see if Brandon elects to run from sight, and he does. It's going to be a five man retake here. And it is going to be Jack picked up by Monarch, unfortunately. Caught shooting the turret. It's going to potentially be a quick execute. You are going to have to flash come out, and that is going to be one. Ultimates galore are going to come out. That is going to be a head dink through the smoke. That is going to be one. Almost make that two. And we have to wonder if the held is coming out. It is, and that is going to be Z with a great play on the defensive side. Securing the round. Unfortunately, looking for the last man, potentially close, is going to forget to pick up Mason in the KO ultimate to save the rifle, but 
Overall, not a bad round. Well played on the side of Colby keeping his cool and holding the defuse. is going to be the elevated plant. This will surely be confusing on the side of UMW. It is going to be the red that is res that is going to make this the five. They are going to identify though this and they are going to hold the bomb potentially to half as well, but unfortunately not going to go through. Bomb is going to attempt to be held now, but just absolutely sprayed through. And it is going to be Colby that only finds one. A good elevated post plan on the side of MSU. Unexpected in terms of UMW's retake. It's going to be a light buy in terms of ensuring they can buy the next when it matters. We'll have to see if the boys are able to do any of the damage they need to to secure this round. Brandon playing slightly closer than Jen this round and is going to throw down the smoke early. It's going to be found and that is going to be heal going down. He will die to the slow as well in terms of the information. Bomb not yet down on either side. That is going to be one found. Almost make that two. Top 410 will fall as well. Last player standing. Unfortunately... Caught in a 1v3. Bomb. We will have to see how Jack likes to hold this. Looks like a four-man stack coming out on the side of UMW. But you have to wonder, is it a bit too little, too late? It's going to be the rotate over. It is unfortunately not going to be any. We are going to see how the boys elect to play the post plant. A lot of utility on both sides. As they are going to walk up. Do look to have wall control as well, but we'll have to see if Brandon walks up for it. Brandon is going to look to wall as well. That is going to mean the information is done. And that is going to be the ultimate as well. That is unfortunately not going to stop Bomb. But that is going to be the 1v2 with Bomb not at half. That is going to be the game, surely. And it is. That is going to be 13 to 10. UMW unfortunately falls. Map 1 to MSU. We're going to take a quick five-minute intermission in between going into game two. But it looks like we are going to have to go to three here if we want the boys to do it. As Mont St. Clair takes the first map.
Welcome back, everybody, and we are going to go live right now as we look to transition into Agent Select on Map 2. We are going to see how UMW elects to defend versus the team comp. That is going to be the instant MSU pick onto the Killjoy, and it also is going to be a pick onto Yoru, with the Vuru Heat being extremely aggressive last time with the Rays. The lineup for today, we are going to sub out for game two, and it is going to be Charlie coming in on the Phoenix. We are going to have Mason on the Breach. We are going to be locking Xander in with the Soba, Chamber on Jack, and Colby rocking the Omen Smokes. Good luck. Have funs out in the chat as an insane game one. Extremely close on both sides. Definitely two very strong competitive teams coordinating and working well together. It is going to be clear skies today here on Ascent with a slight chance of debris as we look to defend MSU attacking on the side of Ascent. Once again, for those potentially joining late, this is Game 2. UMW unfortunately down Game 1 after a close 10-13 to 13 loss. We need your Go Jackets. Go Jackets. <laughs> we need your Go Eagles. And we need your Get Dirty Go Washes more than ever. Make sure you're using your channel points to redeem those. And please keep it here as we look for an intense Game 2. Does look like the MSU going to be having some fun with their broadcasting team. We are going to be live with Jack, who unfortunately is not going to get the first pick. The damage is going to be done instead. Make that two by Jack, almost three. As Bomb is going to go down. We are going to have one taking the icebox, and that is going to be both looking to potentially drop onto under. Is going to be the molly that is going to hit him, and that is going to be Z with a cleanup. A solid play by him. Great execute, and that is going to be four to zero in terms of the trades out on the side of UMW. An aggressive pistol round. Absolute great headshots on the side of Diamond. An aggressive push by Jack for the information. Getting it done here early on game two. Is going to be Colby out with the shot with the dart. Unfortunately, not going to see anyone, but is ready with Ares just in case. Are gonna have Colby holding aggressively. That is gonna be some shots taken towards tiles by Jack. Information has been gathered. And that is gonna be Colby picking up one. Should be the information to follow. But we'll have to see if Jack can get the pick onto tiles. Teleporter has been broken. Oh, but that is gonna be the informational play. Is gonna have him seen. That is going to be Kobe with the pick, and that is going to be Jack with the security, as Diamond also looks to clear one. Playing extremely slow here, but that is going to be also Z finding one more. We'll have to see as UMW begins hunting the last man. That is going to be stun hit. And that is going to be the clear as well. And Mason is going to clean it up nicely, making it 2-0 going into the bonus round here.
are going to have to see if we see an aggressive Silva play with the Aries. Being potentially maybe feathered there for a moment, but we do have you back now. I'm going to go ahead and double check on our end to ensure that we are live briefly. As it does appear that the reconnect is going to be coming through. Looks like we unfortunately did lose you briefly there. But that is going to be the damage done by Colby with the scout. Is going to be only one found, almost close to two. Spike planted. And it is going to be 4v2 in the retake. Can UMW do the damage? Even if it's just holding them on to site here, would be crucial. Almost a spray transfer, but unfortunately not going to go through. Two are going to fall in terms of the bonus round on the side of MSU. And that is going to be a full rifle buy coming out potentially on both sides as we look to equalize on round four. Let's go, Eagles. Appreciate it. Updrift. Happy to have you joining us, at least in spirit here tonight, as we are looking to stay undefeated, unfortunately okay. losing in game one, but coming back, game two. And that's going to be Updrift with the Prime sub as well, making that our fourth of the night. Appreciate your support of our program immensely. We know that you're going to do great things here on our Valorant roster. Are going to have Jack from the extremely aggressive offensive angle could potentially look to TP out, but is going to try to hold for the pressure. Is going to have to commit to the angle now as it could be the pre-fire. Is going to be the pre-fire that occurs, and we are going to find three in the rotate. It's going to be a 3v2 post-plant. The damage was done. We'll have to see Spike planted. You should run. how they elect to do it. It is going to be the Killjoy ultimate, but they could look to walk and actually take aggressive angles. It is going to delay towards heaven side, but not towards under. Cover going out. You do have to wonder if it is, and it is going to be. Is he coming out? It could be the potential. Is doing the damage in terms of the under. And it is going to be Z that finds it, and Colby that holds the defuse. The tag team duo are going to clean it up, coming through A main on the side defense. Thank you to everybody that is sticking with us here as we are at 22 viewers going into game two. We lost a little bit from the transition, and that's okay. We unfortunately are experiencing a little bit of technical issues, but we are definitely live now and back to bringing you the insane action that will be the comeback to tie it 1-1 for game two here in the best of three. We'll have to see how the information is chosen, and it is going to spy one, make that maybe two. It looks like it could be the flash peak instead. It's going to be the one. Make that two flash. One does look to push aggressively. And it is going to be Charlie that is going to trade. And that is going to be bombed down as well. And that is going to be the combination ultimate to potentially look to clear sight. 
There is one from the mid flank as well. Oh, but it is going to be Mini that is unfortunately able to find Diamond on the retake. Spike planted. It does look like it is going to be the crossfire that is going to be had. It is going to be Charlie that picks up one. Could detect the secondary swing, but unfortunately does not. And that's going to be Mub that cleans it up. A good 3k by Charlie, but an unfortunate mid flank there. It's going to be an eco rad on the side of UMW. And it is going to be an A side right quick take on the side of MSU. Get out of my way! It's going to be the tiles control that is taken. But the footsteps towards A main are going to be heard, and right we'll there. have to see how the boys elect to defend. It's going to be the quick TP up to potentially hold. It's going to potentially be the tag, and it is going to be Diamond that does find one. Information is also going to be gathered as Colby picks up another. And just like this, this is becoming more and more of a potential round here on the side of UMW. It is going to be Charlie that also wins the fight towards A main side. It is going to be Tommy that is dinked. Aren't going to unfortunately find the elevated position on to the jet. Jet is going to be tagged once, almost make that twice. And just like that, it's going to be a 1v1. And it is going to be Colby with the through the wall shot to secure the round. An insane play by him. And you know we're going to watch that back on the replay cam. Absolutely an insane shot there. A crucial 1v1 for the economy. And it is going to be Colby that just fires the two quick ones to make the difference. Good job. That is going to force the eco round out here on the side of MSU attack, and it is going to be the full rifle buy for UMW going into round seven. Hey. Potentially looking to hold towards the Forever. B side. No information is going to be found. Smoke is going to be out middle, and we'll just have to see how. Colby elects to follow it. He's going to walk up. Does he recognize that we are going to find Jack? Finding the aggressor. And it looks like Mason is going to be able to read this correctly. It's going to be a quick flash that finds one. Potentially two. Make that two as well. And it is going to be Charlie that also sees the information. And he is going to go for the XDR flash. Unfortunately not going to find it. And it is going to be Z with the cleanup saying, I got you, Charlie. Don't even worry about the angle. 5-2, UMW. Do you like the pick here out of UMW? The Sova to deny the kill joy ultimates. That will make not only offense, but defense a significantly lesser task. As long as he holds that ultimate and waits for the KJ, able to pinpoint the middle of ultimate, will be able to deny that play. Revealing area. It's going to be Z that drones for the information. Take flight. Could potentially look to push it with drone and is. Is going to find one, make that two, and they are going to have some information that is potentially going to be the hold. You should run. Enemy Killjoy Ultimate is going to come out, and just like that, Z is going to counter it. And it is going to be Ultimate for Ultimate, and we'll have to see if Z chooses to live. And in the meantime, everybody else cleans house. An insane flank on the side of Colby. And it is going to be Charlie with the pickup. A great counter to the Killjoy Ultimate there by the boys.
Have to wonder when the timeout is coming. And there it is on the attacker's side. An absolutely solid defensive start on the side of UMW. You have to tell the boys are feeling themselves. Mason, 13 to 4 on the defensive offense. Absolutely killing it this half. MSU trying to elect for the momentum timeout. We'll have to see if it does anything for them as they look like they're going to have to eco by here. UMW could put it away on the defensive side if they continue this streak. Zipper MVP, absolutely L-I-X-M. And shout out to CC. Appreciate the chat. Let's go. Absolutely. Colby the Clutch Master, you are right, Bowser. And that's why we're definitely going to be having an emote for Colby the Clutch Master. It's going to be a five-man stun that does occur. Flash is going to come out, but Jack is now tucked effectively onto one. It's going to be the Omen soon. But it is going to be Jack that is unfortunately found not quite ready for the angle. It's going to be a good trade out on the side of Mason. Charlie finds one as well with the angle. Make that two. Almost three. Flash is going to go wide. Make that three as well for Charlie. And we'll have to be live with... And it is going to be a hug from Colby walking through the smoke. Unable to find the round. MSU going to do their job. Woot Woot, absolutely scout. Excited to see the boys having such a dominant first half here. And we'll have to see how they choose to potentially look to combo ultimates. It's going to be the entire MSU lineup outside of A. Are going to be live with Jack, who is going to hear so many footsteps. It's also going to hear the dash. And the information, but unfortunately does not find any. Colby is going to get the information. That one is a main. And door control is going to be broken. We're going to have to see how the XG comes out. Information is gathered. And it is going to be one directly below heaven. Oh, it is Mason that does go for the correct jump, understanding that there's potentially more than one. Unfortunately, unable to find the pickup, but that is going to be 7-3, a good round for the boys, and their eco is looking mighty fine. This is going to be a full rifle buy here and potentially throughout the entirety of the half. Meanwhile, MSU struggling on some light armor shields to make it happen. Part of the map we're not supposed to see. Don't hold back. Some of the textures unrender. They are so dead. It's gonna be the drone. And the pop flash. Potentially looking for two. Instead, is gonna destroy both the knife and the dart. Some damage will be done onto the side of two. And it is gonna be Colby that finds the pick through the mid. And it's going to be Jack with one. Almost make it two. Could look to push as well, but Colby's going to clean it up. 
And just like that, it's going to all fall apart for the offense. And it is going to be Charlie with the phone number. Phone number is going to be 911 as the boys clean up 5 to 0. Oh. A good read on the side of the defense, an even Last better play the on the side of UMW, looking to secure it 9-3 on defense here. We'll have to see how the boys elect to use the Phoenix Ultimate. Know that it's potentially coming out towards B side long. It does look to be Jack taking an aggressive peek. We love that. You should run. It is going to be the enemy killjoy. It's going to do the damage as well. A lot of ultimates coming out here. It does look like the boys potentially will be looking to retake with Charlie's I ultimate. First is going to be found. Two back cut as one identified close. One is going to be found. Almost make that two. Is going to be the dink on one. one enemy is going to be one. Last player standing. And it is going to unfortunately be two. Picked up by Miles, making it eight to four. Still a solid effort on the side of the defense half. We'll have to see how they choose to elect to pull it out on offense. Thank you for redeeming the Let's Go UMW. And also, thank you for the follow, CC. Appreciate that. Also, thank you to the follow to LIXM and specifically for supporting Z. We appreciate it. Does look like it is going to be a heavily utilized side kill joy on the beam. We'll have to see how the boys elect to take sight. As it is going to be too mid on the potential aggressive push coming out from MSU. Forever. Information is going to be gathered that one is potentially up. That is going to be MSU that is going to be pushing. Diamond is going to find the flank onto one as well. It's going to be the pop flash that is out, but it is going to be tucked correctly. We'll have to see how the trades go mid. Tommy is going to find one. Make that two. Unfortunately, it is going to be a 3v4 going into a iffy post plant. Could potentially be the shock dart to clear the utility, but unfortunately doesn't look like it is going to be used. Tucked extremely close on site. It's going to be found, and that is going to be Jack securing site, making a 3v3 in the post plant. Are going to have the damage to work with as well. Is going to be some of the spray through coming in. And it is going to be absolutely Z that finds one. With the crucial play. Are potentially going to identify two on the push. And it is going to be Colby that unfortunately is unable to find one. Make that two and we're slowly down to Z. Z is unfortunately not going to be able to find it. And that is going to be a good 3v3 retake on the side of MSU. Winning them the pistol round and potentially the bonus. It's going to be a full eco here, minus the one frenzy on the side of Mason. Up against four specters and the omen. Potentially, they could hold mid with 
scout. And it is going to actually be some frenzy buys out quickly. It is going to be one absolutely destroyed. Will they continue to push through? It looks like they almost will. I'm too far. Back looking to resecure towards site. However, going to be definitely an awkward post plant situation. Happy that the boys got the bomb down here on the eco. But we'll have to see how they elect to use these frenzies. It's going to be the close angle, and it is going to be the dink onto two. Unfortunately, it's going to be one, but only one found. It's going to be two on the side of the eco for the round. Overall bomb down, a good play on the side of UMW. Is going to be still the bonus buy out of MSU. Even on those that already had uh, unfortunately not made it through the round, being eliminated. It actually looks like they're going to have less equipment to work with this round than they did last. An interesting economic strategy by them. But it is going to be all five players of UMW. The quick TP to potentially secure. They are going to have one go through. Waiting on the spray. He is going to make it through. Potential pop flash as well. And that is going to be Jack that is able to find one. Who is going to be able to get out a good TP on that side. Unfortunately, is going to be Diamond found to one. And Mini is going to win the gunfight as well. Jack is going to win it, but it's... Up to Mini, and Mini is going to get the ace absolutely running rampant. Can't stop, won't top with the Spectre. And that is going to be a very bad economic defeat ace. on the side of UMW. Going to be very broke here for the next two rounds, forcing us into a vicarious position. As it's looking like it's going to be an 8-9 eventual take on the side of MSU. All fell apart from the A main there, unable to hold two rifles versus the running specter from the Omen. A great play by minigame. It is also going to be the Killjoy ultimate available for the post plant. That's a good spot. It does look like it is going to be the quiet take this time. Information will be gathered as well. I'll have to see if they can potentially look to bait out an ultimate that is going to be Killjoy. Stationary. Onto the B site. Nice attempt by them to potentially delay for some information. Potentially look to have the enemies over rotate. We'll have to see when the eventual execute does come out. Come on, let's go. Thirty seconds left. It's going to be the molly to delay as well, and the boys are going to get plant onto site. But it is going to be Jack that is unfortunately found. Jack is... Oh my gosh, Charlie is going to get the triple dink. And it is going to be Colby that is continuing to do the damage. And it is going to be the lockdown destroyed, a 2v4 situation. It's going to be the flash, but unfortunately not the peak together. But it is going to be Tommy wondering if the boys could potentially look to play that slower. 
on the side of the 2v1. Is going to be full rifles fired out now as we equalize at 8-8 eight eight here on Game 2, Week 5 of the NECC regular playoffs. It is your undefeated UMW Esports versus the undefeated Montclair State. And we will have to see who wins here. Continues to hold. Will it be UMW Esports currently ranked number one seed or will it be MSU? Number two. Very patient on the time side of the Killjoy. Right here. And you do have to wonder if maybe UMW is not taking enough space elsewhere on the map. A clean read by the defense in terms of making sure that they are positioned correctly. We'll have to see how much util is dumped in order to get on to site. It's going to be the flash that is cleared. It's going to be the stairs angle as well. It's going to be the concuss that I believe also will find Charlie. And it is going to be minigame that sprays one. We are going to have Jack pushing aggressively up through mid. We do like this play. He's going to gain some information. Oh, but unfortunately... The CSGO bunny hop is going to mean the death of him. 30 seconds left. It's 20 seconds. We're pushing quite calmly onto site. And it is going to be the double headshot by Viro. Almost an immediate lineup. It is going to be Colby. And Colby Clutch Factor that maybe comes in here. Ten seconds left. But unfortunately is going to be found by the Util by Mub. A great play by them. And we will have to see if it is UMW back to the eco save going into round. It's going to be a timeout started by UMW. Good idea to perhaps get a grip and recognize the momentum shift. As the boys talk strategy, we will talk to you about our growing new esports program here at the University of Mary Washington. Happy to be competing in Valorant within the NECC and Super Smash Brothers singles on Friday as we look to join NACE going into next year. We also just announced our newest competitive title, Rocket League, which will have tryouts on next Wednesday, October 26th, and we're looking to have two teams, both competitive and casual, with subs to be competing starting spring of 2023. Other titles potentially to look out for would be an insane interest in Overwatch 2, potentially League of Legends, and more. So make sure to stay live with our Twitter for all the information on what we have to offer here at the university and how our continually growing esports program could be right for you. Stinger go crazy? Absolutely. Without a doubt. Headshots on that economy round by Colby were insane. You want to play? Let's play. Is going to be ultimate out of Jack. And he is going to be holding the aggressive angle towards mid. Love the aggression here out of Jack. A lot of information can be had by this angle. Very risky, but does read correctly that Jet has been playing almost strictly tree. Rarely ever pushing up towards the cat angle. Your feet! Is going to be the ultimate that potentially looks to gain information. We'll have to see how Jack elects to hold it. It's going to be slow pushing. But unfortunately, it's not going to find the pick mid. No charges left. We are live on site with Charlie. as it is going to be the through the wall and it is going to be running for their lives. Minigame is going to unfortunately spray. Jack is going to find one for the slow as well, making it a 3v2 with one tucked. One enemy remaining. Watch your eyes! 
Rifle has been seen as well. Last player standing. And it is going to be Charlie with the good pickup around much needed to equalize and stop that economic on the side of MSU. And actually, with how effectively they were buying, it is going to be a potential full buy, but someone is going to have to play the half buy on the side of MSU. And with ultimates coming up for our UMW, we'll have to see if they choose to elect to wait with the Silva ultimate to deny the killjoy. Is going to be the boys positioned once again towards mid. That will be the smoke that allows them to take some cat positioning. Joke's over. You're dead. But it is going to be Mub that somehow finds Jack in the crossing. Door is going to be closed as Bomb falls. Z, unfortunately only good for one as it looks for the 2v4. Unfortunately, Charlie not going to be found. Kobe with the running one, but is not going to find the second. A great round from the defensive mid. Able to find those picks onto Cat when they mattered most. Otherwise, the pinch could have been very effective on the side of UMW. Is going to be an eco side here on the side of UMW. Got to equalize to next round. Be difficult to get the job done, but potentially could look to take some mid-aggression. I have to wonder if the play comes out quick. It doesn't. Good mid-presence gained. Be live with Jack. Could potentially get the headshot on an over aggressive peak. It's right going to be the small delay. As it is going to be the boys anticipating the cat angle. is also going to clear out a main. The trade is going to come through. Information is going to gather that it is close. And it is going to be the trade by Z. One is going to be found for Cat. Rifle is secured. The 2v3. But unfortunately is going to be Mub with the pickup. Difficult round here for Jack. Isn't going to be able to get it done. Mub with a pre-fire through the wall. Is going to make a 9-11. Going into the back half of game two. UMW Eagles need your support now more than ever. Get those get dirty go washes in chat. Get those go Eagles. As the boys need to equalize here on this oh so crucial rifle round. To be able to stick in it against MSU. is going to look to walk up. Enemy mark. All set up. It's going to throw down TP. Enemy As the boys do look to take some med control. More information is gathered. Close corners cleared. The boys look to really take it slow here, getting some cat control. 
close angle will be cleared. It's the stun that almost comes out. Util traded. 50 seconds remaining. Boys, slowly. Aggressing. It does look like the call is going to be the B hit. That is going to be the aggressive push. Unfortunately, not going to be found. But it is going to be Charlie that picks up one. The secondary will be found as well. And it's going to be a 3v3 post plant to potentially determine match. Have to see how the boys elect it. The swing will go wide. One is going to be found. And it is going to be minigame with the pickup, making it 12 to 9 in an extremely hard round here for UMW Esports. Match point. Match point here, as we're going to have as much of a buy as possible out on the side of UMW. Remain undefeated this season. We'll see if the boys can do it. On a lighter note, though, either way, extremely proud of how UMW has played their first season. 4-0 and to start. Potentially looking to make it 5-0 here. Nikolai's going into the second I half. The Still, most definitely having playoff potential. And I know that for the boys, that is not enough. As they're looking to take it and take it all right here in this post plan. Enemy kill joint is going to go down from the left. But unfortunately, Jack is going to push deep unfound. It is going to be the one for one trade. As the boys are going to be forced to play off site. It is going to be the fuse coming through as well. And unfortunately, nobody there to peek. It is going to be UMW that falls to MSU. And an unfortunate Killjoy play. An absolute good game all around. Both teams making it go the distance. But unfortunately, that is going to be your UMW Eagles falling. MSU St. Clair. The boys will be live again next Monday after some good practice this weekend to ensure that the rest of their season goes smoothly. Keep it right here for anything UMW esports related. Once again, I have been Mark Link, the Director of Esports, and I hope you all have a great evening.